So for context, one of my all-time favorite styles to produce is Fredo 9's Potter Paper type beats, mainly popularized by SA Beats like six, seven years ago or something. Oh man, I'm getting old. I was genuinely obsessed with this style when I was like 14, and it was one of the first type beats that I learned to make consistently. Certain beats on Paper's recent album share a similar sound. So today I'm going to be making a couple of beats in the style of Fredo and Potter Paper. Today's video was made possible by Viom. Viom? I swear, I can never pronounce these German producer names. Uh, <laughs> so recently I've been sent the perfect kit for the style that I'm going for, which is the Eternal Multi Kit. To my knowledge, it contains a drum kit, a loop kit, and a one shot kit. I've been experimenting with the pack a little bit, which you may or may not have seen. To be honest, it's the perfect kit for when I don't want to doom scroll for like 20 minutes looking for the right sounds. It is, of course, a very welcomed addition to my toolkit. So if you're at all interested in checking it out, there's a link in the description with a 40% discount code, which I'll put on the screen here. Big thank you to Viom for making this video possible and sending me the pack. Let's see what I can come up with. Okay, that is a lot of loops. <laughs> I'm gonna drag this one in and see what it sounds like. That is one for one the perfect sound that I'm going for. This is 160 BPM. I really appreciate loops where they have all the constituent elements just separated out like this. It means I can take what I want from the sample and put my own spin on it basically. So I've separated all the elements. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to add a re-space. Also purposefully left a couple of gaps in the bass line just to let the drums breathe a little bit. All right, now that's done, I'm going to start looking for some vocal chops to add. All right, I feel like I just got barked at, but that sounds pretty cool, so I'm gonna use it. This is definitely one of my most overused samples for sure. Maybe this one? That's sounding cold already and it's not even like mixed or anything so i'm going to take all of these individual elements i'm just going to mix them up and see what they sound like all the sounds are mixed luckily the loops high quality so i don't actually have to do much mixing but this is what it sounds like all together All right, with that done, I'm happy to move on to the drums, so. Okay, this might actually be the biggest drum kit that I own.
friend. Okay. I forgot how much I enjoyed making these kind of beats. I don't know why I don't make these more often. So all that's left to do is mix the drums and arrange the beat. I might do something special with the arrangement though. Like I may add some orchestral elements or something like that. Notable parts of the mix. Sidechain on the bass isn't minimal, but it's also not as much as I would normally use, mostly because the kick is so busy that if there was some aggressive sidechain, the bass would just be ducking every half second. You wouldn't be able to hear it at all. So added like a short amount of delay to the open hat. On the rim shot that I'm using, I've turned the attack all the way up so that it acts as a percussive element instead of a rim shot. This is what it normally sounds like. This is what it sounds like now. Now with the mix out of the way, I'm happy to arrange the beat. This sounds cold, but it's not done yet. It needs some effects, it needs some orchestral sounds, stuff like that, so. I feel like I'm saying this every video right now, but definitely one of my favorite beats that I've made in a while. I think with a bit more time, I could definitely balance the melodic elements of the beat a lot better. It was really fun to take one style of loop and then see if I can flip it into like one of my favorite styles. That was a lot of fun. I don't really know what to do with myself now. I'm not gonna make a better beat than that today. So <laughs> thank you again to Vaum for making this video possible. And if you're interested in using any of the sounds that I just showcased, there's a link in the description so you can check it out with a code on screen here that gives you 40% off. Hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe let's just listen to the beat and see what i could do better for next time i'm not topping that anytime soon but i can try